freedom to live a life uh, off chain. They uh, live in pens of two to three dogs per pen. They're uh, very spacious pens. Uh, each dog having a house, which uh, some opt to uh, sleep in, some uh, prefer to just sleep outside. But uh, there when they need them. Here we got uh, one of our younger dogs, Quimmy. And Quimmy came to us as a five month old puppy from Norman Wells, Northwest Territories. And we also here have uh, Unima and Took. So Took and Unima are two of our older dogs, uh, kind of semi retired. They're kind of the grandma and grandpa here now to, to Quimmy. Oh, and all this fresh snow brings uh, snow bombs dropping from the trees. You gotta be careful, it's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, instant whiteout. Hopefully we'll get in a couple more of those on film. Pretty amazing. You can see one in the background there, maybe. Here we have Quimmy. Quimmy is uh, just about a year old. Uh, just a young, young and goofy dog, but uh, certainly is born to pull his first season in harness, and uh, he's doing a great job. This is Cowboy. And Here, beautiful dog here. This is Thor. He's a powerhouse. Another new dog. Uh, Four-year-old male. And now uh, to the puppies. The puppies share the pen with their mother. Here's summer, summer mama. She had a litter of seven. Four of the um, other litter mates are now at Wintergreen Dogs for Lodge in Ely, Minnesota, which is owned and operated by my aunt and uncle, Paul and Sue Shirky, uh, right on the edge of the Battle Waters Wilderness area. The only time they're hooked up is uh, when they're pulling sleds. Along with playing, uh, the puppies, even at this age, uh, developing their more hard-headed way of communicating uh, in terms of scrapping it out, establishing the pecking order in life, their, their, their hierarchy and rank. But here we have uh, Mackenzie. Again, the puppies here are five months old. Norman, the one, the one boy. And we have Shatu. And again, Summer's the mother. came from a gentleman named Bill Carpenter who is uh, accredited with saving this breed from potential extinction. Back in the 1970s there was only about 250 Inuit dogs left and Bill relocated to the Northwest Territories to start a breeding program where he would travel the high Arctic and acquire Inuit dogs from Inuit villages that uh, were quite remote where they still had fewer populations and then started breeding them back to a viable number and whiskers over here is uh, one of Bill's uh, last dogs so we've had her for a couple years now she's been a great addition and we got Pitsiak <coughs> Feeding time. <laughs> 
Enzo! Enzo! 